Dispatch, we've located the stolen vehicle. Occupants inside. Approaching now. Henry, you don't want to do this. I don't have a choice, Ray. Think of the consequences. Oh, way past consequences. This needs to end tonight. <laughs> my neighbor's car. We were going to put it back. It was just a dare. Is there a problem here, officer? You wanted my attention, Sean. You got it, buddy. Wait, you guys know each other? Yeah, he's sort of my dad. Ooh. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask for that world's greatest dad mug back. You just keep talking, Sean. You keep talking. Oh, don't worry, I will. Like when I read you your rights. Oh, I have rights. That'll be new and fun. What am I going to tell your mother? I don't know. You think you can get a hold of her new phone number? I hope it was worth it, smartass. This officially is your chance of being a cop. Let's be honest. I gave up wanting to be like you a long time ago. That's it. Somebody book him. You, Beanpole, get over here. Fingerprint him now. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Me? <laughs> Never mind, rookie. I'll do it myself. Hey, hi. Henry? Yes, yes, it's me, Henry, your ex-husband. Look, I don't want to bother you, but, uh, how you doing? Great. And you? Great. Doing great. Well, there's that. Hey, Matt, listen, uh, I'm just about to cook up a, a steak here, and I've got another one sitting right next to it. I was just thinking, you know, if you're hungry, you could, uh... Would you? Or not, I, uh... Honestly, I would love to taste one of your steaks. But I just had a delicious salad from room service. Oh, okay, hey, no biggie. I, you know, of course, I just uh, was concerned that you hadn't eaten, and now that I know you had salad, I feel better, and, uh... Ba-ba-boo. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. You too. Okay. So that's it from the Thunderdome as quarterback Sammy Winslow and the T-Birds lose another heartbreaker. Winslow was brilliant at times today, throwing for three touchdowns, but his two second-half interceptions were absolute backbreakers. This is the greatest moment of my whole life. Hey, you see, being a cop has its advantages, huh? This is pretty cool. Oh, there he comes. Oh, my God. I got to get his autograph. It's so cool. Just relax, relax. Remember, he's a person just like me. Oh, no, he's way better than you. Good game. Uh, uh, great game, Sammy. But do you want to know why you threw that interception in the third quarter? Why? Well, every time you're going to throw a quick pass to the left side, you rub your hands together, then pat the ball twice, which is probably why you threw those six picks in the last three games or something. I, I don't know. Sorry, he's a, a perceptive little pain in the butt or something. I'm sorry. You can't do that. He's a quarterback. Man. Kid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we got the game ball. I got the game ball. With the...
recently obtained intelligence of a bomb plot by an anti-government radical. His intended target was this very building. We owe the success of this investigation, and indeed our very lives, to Sergeant Henry Spencer. Well done. Very good. Sergeant Spencer, would you like to say a few words? Oh, no, no, thanks, Chief. A police officer doesn't deserve any special attention for just doing his job. Unless... Nobody recognizes us. I feel ridiculous. Speak for yourself. I've got this shirt at home. His mother used to love it. Yeah, like 30 years ago. Kid, I worked a lunch last week. There it is. Well, she's been sitting in some old lady's backyard for dang near 30 years. You got the keys? Let's take a look inside. Make me an offer and it's yours. You gotta be kidding. Just give us a second here. <sighs> All right, how much money do we have between us? What? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I got about 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. I got about 400 between my wallet and my sock. It's my just-in-case money. All right, <clears throat> add in what I have, and we've got about 450. All right, let me go talk to uh, 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 You stand down, Popeye Doyle. I'll handle this. Got about $450 here. Now, how much is this gonna cost me? $450. Done. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> nice going, Sean. That was all about money. That's what happens when you're sitting in the one guy who's never bought a car before. Not exactly enough. Hey. Hey. Strawberry, huh? Oh, you gotta taste it. I'd still go vanilla. It's good. Are you kidding me? That is the best shake on the planet. One part ice cream, two parts awesome. It's been a long time since you called me for a ride. Yeah, well, Gus got tired of waiting for someone who wasn't gonna show. All right, look, Sean, here's the thing about your Uncle Jack. He'll always come back. You're not the first to get duped. You certainly won't be the last. Welcome to the club, kid. Guess I probably owe you an apology. You can see now where Uncle Jack might not have been the best role model. Yeah, maybe not. Why didn't you say anything when I was a kid? Because I always wanted you to have the, the, you know, the fun uncle in your life. I was only hard on you because I didn't want your life to turn out like the fun uncle. Well, it didn't. Not totally. Here you go. Thanks. You know the penny thing? Grandpa taught me that, then I taught it to Jack when we were kids. He just took it to another whole level. Yeah, he, uh, he seems to do that a lot. I still can't believe that he got away with the gold. I, you gotta think that someday, all this stuff is gonna catch up with him, huh? Yeah. That day might just be today. Does Gus know about this? Oh, yeah, he's got the rest of it. Don't worry, we're donating it to the museum. All of it? Ish. What? I saw Jack following us. I knew he was going to show up in the car. I made the switch when we were running through the forest. So what does Jack have? <laughs> well done, Shawnee. <laughs> oh.